Hello and welcome to BadgerCam. In this week's video I'm going to be taking a look at Flory Models Dark Dirt Weathering Wash. Now I've never used this stuff before but I've heard good things about it on the internet. So I figured as a first time user I'd make a video and see how easy or not it is to use. And for anyone wondering, no I'm not getting paid anything to make this video. Apparently this weathering stuff's made with clay in it plus a few other ingredients to break the water tension. You simply throw it onto your model and then rub it off with a damp cloth until you get the look you like and then seal it all in when you're happy with it with a clear coat to keep it all from moving around. Simple. The stuff doesn't set like paint and apparently being clay based it can be reactivated and washed off any time ish making the weathering risk free hence why I'm going to try it on a bigger model. The model I'm going to be testing this out on today is the ICM OV10A Bronco that I've recently finished building. Uh, I want to go for a semi-dirty weathered look but not so dirty that it looks like it's been thrown in a swamp. So anyway without further ado let's chuck this stuff on there. Right then, um, slosh the muck on and straight off the bat the model looks like it's been left in a peat bog. Not the look I'm going for but let's just roll with this. Seems really weird to be coating all my hard work in what looks like literal muck. The wash goes on nice though. It's drippy but clingy so it's not falling off the model too much. Now just to cover the whole thing in a reasonable coat. No idea if this is the right amount or what but sod it. In for a penny, in for a pound I guess. Now of everything equally filthy it's time to let it dry. Drying time is meant to be about 20 minutes or so. I'm going to leave this for just under an hour as I've got other things to do. So I'll be right back. About an hour later, this is what it's looking like. It looks a little less dramatic now, now it's dried, but the whole model looks far more of a mess than I'd like it to. Apparently though, this next step is where the magic happens. Ooh. What I've got to do is slightly dampen a bit of cloth or tissue and streak the muck off in the direction of travel or where the water would run down. So here we go. The stuff seems to be coming off in the right manner. Takes a little bit of work though. A few bits seem to want to cling a hell of a lot more than others but uh, yeah a bit of work though and it seems to shift them. The effect's quite hard to judge though. The, uh, the wet stuff looks darker and the dry stuff looks paler. Um, so it looks more dramatic where you're reacting it again but I'm just going to crack on with it really uh, idea is to leave the muck in the rivet holes and panel lines and just get a nice bit of streaking seems to be doing that sort of I do use brushes though to put my paints on so it's a bit of a thicker coat on the model than an airbrush would leave the more I'm working away at this though the more the looks kind of growing on me I would much prefer the look it's given me on the lighter underside of the model. I think that the effect uh, shows up better here than on the darker top side. But then again, I guess in real life it would look that way. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and get all this wiped down and see what I'm left with. Sometime later, I think that took about two hours to do. This is it all wiped down. It certainly looks like it's uh, led a bit of a life now. It looks a bit beaten up. In hindsight though, I don't think this was the best model to use for it on a first go. Lots of little nooks and crannies to work into with this, so uh, it was kind of difficult to uh, rub some of it off, but I managed. This is my pile of shame though. Lots of little bits were removed during the rubbing process. Uh, I'm going to have to glue these back on, but uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. This sort of thing happens found removing and moving the paint around was easier and more controllable with a wet brush though and a piece of tissue or cloth. The tissue is better for soaking up excess rather than actually sort of shaping it into the look you like. All in all though the effects rather nice. I do need to practice a bit more with this though to uh, get the exact effect that I want but my first impressions are good. It'll be better on a more streamlined model like I said earlier um, with a few less bits to get in the way of streaking. But with that dirt coat on, what I'm going to do now, as uh, it's always going to be something to complement other weathering effects, I'm going to go away and uh, weather the model how I would normally go about this. Just a little bit of dry brushing 
and uh, get the base paint and lighten it up and do a little bit of dry brushing with that as well. And uh, come back and uh, see what it all looks like as part of the package. And here it is. Looking at the end result, this stuff's not bad. It's definitely easy to use and fairly forgiving. A bit expensive for what it is, including postage. I wish somewhere local stocked it, but no one does. But overall, I think it's complementing the other weathering nicely. Just have to see how many models I can coat out of a bottle of this stuff to see if the price is justifiable to uh, keep in stock for future weathering projects. I don't seem to have dented the bottle with uh, how much I've used on this Bronco though. With a bit of fading and dry brushing though, the effect looks a lot better. However, as I can reactivate it, I'm not sure if I'm gonna seal it all in just yet. I might leave it a few days and have a look with fresh eyes and see how I feel about it. Not sure if it was my heavy handedness or the stuff that wasn't very good for fine details. Most likely it was me not being very good for the fine details, but it is hard to remove from real tight spots and fine textures. This would give a better effect for airbrush folks who have cleaner finishes than people using brushes, but it's definitely done the job of picking out panel lines and rivets with a, a brush coat being applied to the model originally. Anyway, that's my first look at the flooring models dark dirt weathering wash. Certainly now it's a welcome string to my uh, weathering bow so to speak. And with a bit more practice I reckon this will really start to do the job and shine once I'm a bit more used to it and get the hang of the look from wet to dry and dry to wet so I know what I'm kind of working my way towards. Anyway, as always thank you for watching and until next time look after yourselves and have a good one. Goodbye.